Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. If you want to get this look and see how I color this hair, stay tuned. So I am going to be lifting this hair from black to red without bleaching the hair. So this hair is from Allure Lengths and I will leave the um, link in the description box to where I purchased this. I am just showing you the very poor construction that I did. I was rushing making this wig so just showing you the construction of the wig before I go ahead and get started. So here I'm showing you the color that I'm using. I am using L'Oreal High Color Highlight in the color magenta. So this is just a one-stop shop, so you do not have to bleach the hair. The only thing you will be using is developer um, to mix. And before I start, I just comb out the unit or brush it out rather um, just to make sure that it's a smooth transition onto the hair when I apply it. I do also wanted to let you all know this unit was about 10 months old um, here in the video while it was black. So it was some old hair and I just wanted to see how good this L'Oreal color would work. So that's why I decided to go ahead and color it. I'm sorry for me moving around. Child, what did I have on that day? <laughs> So the directions will be on the box, however, um, I am a licensed cosmetologist and I actually played this by ear. Um, I just mixed it up to the consistency that I wanted and I believe that I used 30 developers to add to this, um, just so the transition wouldn't be so fast. So this is how it will look coming right out of the tube. So that's not with any developer. That's just the color only. Okay, oops, I lied. I did use 40 developer. I guess that I was trying to hurry up and get done with this whole thing. So <laughs> I did use 40 developer in this particular video. Usually I only use 30 because 40, it usually lifts really, really fast. So, um, if you're in a hurry, use 40, but, you know, just keep your eye on it. And especially you want to work from front to, or I'm sorry, from the hairline to the nape with 40. Um, or because the color is going to be shown at the hairline first rather than your nape. So, you know, you just play it by ear like that. It depends on what look you're actually going for. So just wanted to let you girls know and so here I'm laying my unit flat so I am putting the opening down so that I am working with just the top of the hair and the bottom of the hair. So 
So at this point, because I'm doing an ombre effect pretty much um, to the root, I am starting with large chunks, with large strokes, um, just to cut down on time. Because at the end of this, everything will pretty much be like a red color with black undertones in there so that you can see it. You'll see exactly what I mean by the end of the video. So you're going to start to see me open up the hair and that's just so that it's not black on the side that you're not coloring. So you have to go through the hair to make sure that you're getting all of it fully saturated and not just the top of the hair. Also, you are going to see me combing through the hair as well. This is also helping me get on the opposite side of the, of the hair as well and also smoothing it out to make the application much easier um, to get that color on. So. and be careful with lifting up the unit like if you have to lift up the unit at all because the red color can get onto the lace and trust me when i say it is hell to get off so i still haven't found out a method of how to um, remove dye from the lace so if i find something trust me y'all it'll be a video on it because i did get a few little dabs of red on my lace and i was like what? <laughs> Over. So now that the opening is upward, so I am just going through. See, if I would have left it like how it was, all of this portion here would have been black. So we don't want that. We want to get that fully saturated as well so it can lift up to red. So here's my second tube of magenta in the high color. I am just adding this, repeating the same steps that I did at first. So I believe I only used about two tubes of the high color. So here I picked up the unit and I wanted to get closer to the actual um, scalp or lace of the wig. So I started doing strokes of the hair, like almost like a balayage. 
so it wouldn't give me that real real thick effect like that harsh line where it begins and where it ends so I kind of feathered it out So once I was completed with this, coming through my unit and applying the color, I went ahead and let it sit for 30 minutes, and voila, that's the color that I got. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and just let me know what videos you all would like to see.